Dragon Con, Crispy here, and I've got a lot of friends. I've got Mary, Jane, and Ken all showed up to Dragon Con finally, guys. <laughs> what took you so long? We've only been waiting. Yeah, well. Uh, been, to be fair, I've been waiting a long time for this guy. Uh, I want to make a little personal note here off the record. I've been doing this convention for 18 years. Before I did this, I actually moderated some fan panels, and I did Jericho panels back in the day. <laughs> So I'm going to throw that back there for you. Yes, so, yes, Mr. Eric Green. What took you so long? <laughs> so congrats. So, I appreciate that. Yeah, so seriously, guys, though, thank you guys so much for coming. You guys just got here. Yeah. Last night. How's it gone so far? I know it's early, yeah. but... So I mean, we stepped it. into our hotel room, and it's like... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, we stepped into the hotel lobby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right last night, we're like, whoa, this is not Kansas we, anymore. We want to make yeah. sure you get off on the right, the right <laughs> foot, and that's yeah. not sleeping. No. So... Yeah. Well, it did end at midnight. All I right. noticed that it was, it was... So we're somewhat responsible is what you're saying. <laughs> yeah, yeah, somewhat. Yeah. All right, I'll take that. But, but yeah, very No, fun. I mean, immediately yeah. we love the energy. And, yeah. and then so the, energy. notice that the cosplay, the, yeah. Yeah. Is the percentage amazing. wise... Oh, goodness, yeah. yeah. Have you guys done other conventions before? Yes, or, we, we some, were in Las Vegas yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. about a month ago. I, yeah. I know D Disco is kind of bringing a lot of this out again, which is awesome. Uh, yeah. As a fan of the show as well, um, oh, it's huge. You. Yeah, uh, but yeah. so it's good to see you guys here. And, and with the costuming thing, obviously you guys are in some serious makeup. Yes. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll be honest, when, uh, when Ken was on the show, I didn't even know it was Ken on the show. Right. Uh, I was like, wait, I've, I've followed this guy for years. I had yeah. no clue, so I felt <laughs> terrible. But, uh, but that said, seeing it from the fan side of things, what have been some cool costumes that you guys have seen already? Uh, here? Around here? Yeah, yeah. Some of them I can't even identify. I Probably just go an anime. And I go, that's what we wow. like yeah. to say. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, like a lot of like Middle Earth. A lot of Tolkien turnout. Yeah. And then and then I just love there's like uh, people that do a mashup or like yeah, you know, yeah. they'll, they'll yeah. spin it into like uh, another Tether thing. twist. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm, saw, a, I'm a big fan of mashups as well. So that's why I would right, do like a mashup shirt and then a kilt and thing. Yeah. But I've seen some really fun costumes. There was a person who did a uh, a Transformer sound wave, which is the one that has the cassette tape. Yeah, but his cassette we, tape was the Guardians of the Galaxy exactly. soundtrack. Oh, like oh with gosh. These little blending things like yeah, that. I love that. Yeah. That's so cool. Mary so, and I are in our best human costumes yeah, right yeah, now. That's, that's You're selling costume. the hell out of it right yeah. now. Yeah. I had no clue. So it's really hard to that. squish all that yeah, underneath. Like, man. I, I, <laughs> on Mission honest, Impossible like <laughs> stuff going on right now. The percentage thing, they put you guys in. Oh my god. Mission Impossible. So how are things Tom Cruise? You know, that's fine. <laughs> you just blend that's, it back. that's under coal. Tom yeah, yeah, yeah. is under coal. God, God that's crazy. Uh, you guys do yeah. a lot of prosthetics, though. Yeah. So obviously there's a little bit more uh, appreciation for fan costume and things like that. Yes. Um, what has been, I'm not, I'm not here to necessarily like drill into the makeups, but holy crap, there's a lot of prosthetics. Yes. How just, I want to know, Pierce, personally, what's that experience like for you? I mean, it's, uh, it's a, the first time for both of us being no, prosthetics. Oh, wow, okay. Um, but I think uh, I was speaking to this uh, earlier on our panel, just that we're both people that have expansive energies yes. and we really like to fill them up and of course like there you you pull it down when you need to be a normal yes. human but it's very liberating and exciting to work with the prosthetic yes. i think uh, actors that feel like they're working against it aren't going to have as much fun it's still yeah. grueling i was you know it's, i have drool it, it stories, is what it is right stories. Yeah, 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 it's yeah, very, yeah. but um it's really beautiful and I, I'm so proud of the work that both our designers, Neville Page and Glenn Hetrick, have mm -hmm. set forth and then James McKinnon yes. and his whole team on the ground, the way in which every day they're gluing it on, finessing with the right. airbrush right at the end and oh, um, the the constantly re-gluing re our lips as they fall off throughout the day. Like it's. It's an incredible. Never thought I'd hear that sentence in my life. That's fantastic. Yeah. Just the lips, just, they just come yeah, off. Yeah, they so. just come off, yeah. just popping off. Yeah, there have been a lot it's of like funny something moments. out of Beetlejuice there, I'm imagining. Yeah. yeah. But, uh, well, I even asked yeah. you guys because I get to just be me. You know? Yeah. <laughs> You've got it easy. I even asked them, you know, when you get made up, I was saying to Ken last night, do you look in the mirror and go, yeah. and then does it just like come from inside? Yeah. You know, something, because you become this different thing. I, yeah. didn't, I yeah. didn't know Ken as Ken until after I'd worked with him. Yeah. I was like, hi, I don't know who you are. <laughs> like, I realized, like, did you come up and introduce or something like, well, like I don't know you, why are you talking to me, strange man? Yeah, we, were all, yeah. we were all on the uh, plane together from LA to Toronto. Right. To so different from and Cole. Yeah, <laughs> it, we, I was just like, no, I, I had just met Jane. Yeah. And then I was like, oh yeah, and Ken's here. And, it was this whole like, and oh, wow. it was fun. Of, like, yeah. Confusion, I do yeah. have to do two introductions on set usually. All right, like a right. lot of, like if I go and visit the set on a day that I'm not working, I'm right. like, 
No, I'm, I'm Mary Laurel. Right. And then it was like, this do you have the oh. picture just in case? Like, yeah, depending yeah, yeah. on what day you're yeah. on, it's like, right. this is fine. Yeah. This is <laughs> me. Luckily, my height is usually like the best way. Fair. They're like, oh no. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it's yeah. obvious. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that makes sense. I mean, as much as I love the prosthetic and how amazing it is, the best moment of the day is, yeah. is when you the cut, cut it, it through, yeah. right? Yeah. They cut it comes back, off. Yeah. And they peel it off after a 14, 15 hour day. And you breathe. And the hot towel when it comes yeah. on your face. Oh my God. It's just like, Doesn't a lot of sweat pour out? Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, get dirty. It's fine. Yeah, it's all right. It's, yeah, well, yeah. James yeah. calls it hot dog juice. Oh. It, uh, oh my God. There have been certain days, either because of the, the um, whatever the scene was, or, you know, or just that it, I, one day I was like particularly nervous about yeah. how they. You do sweat more, and it's like, it's, it varies from day to day how much comes out of the end of the and day. And it can't go anywhere. No. You know. It collects yeah. there, yeah. and that first cut, it just goes yeah. <laughs> and you either embrace it or you're grossed out to the max. Fair enough. It's the weirdest spa day ever. Man, I, I don't know if this is a conversation you've had before, but that sound effect just drove that home. So right? thank you for that. Ken is a master yeah. of sound effects. That's great. We're just going to keep you on, no. on, just on, on retainer yeah. for that right there. <laughs> I want to drill in a little bit, though. Obviously, you know, Star Trek is a legacy thing. It's iconic. You guys are part of a fantastic franchise yeah. and a fantastic show. But what were what were the shows for you guys? Maybe not necessarily now, but like growing up, where where were your inspirational sources and your fandoms? Like, where did that come from? Well, um, I grew up with uh, Harry Potter okay. and Chronicles of Narnia. Yeah, Those yeah. were kind of my two main hubs of. The, they were the ones that I kept coming back to, mm -hmm. I'll say. I loved sci-fi and fantasy in general mm -hmm. and always knew that if there was a new movie in that genre, you were there. probably, yeah. Uh, but Harry Potter, really, I, I was one of, I'm the generation that like grew up, like literally was waiting for my Hogwarts letter uh -huh. and kept just, I'm a November baby, All so right. I kept being like, well, I turn 11 in November, so I gave myself like an extra year to wait for the, the letter, letter to come in, and wait for the owl to show stuff. up, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, I feel that. That was very, very important to me. And then nice. my, my friend Eve and I would create uh, movies together starting in fourth grade. And they were basically oh all, like you rewatch them, you're like, oh, this is like the female sister version of Harry Potter, <laughs> mashed with a little bit right. of Chronicles of Narnia. So It's a very similar right. world, I yeah. totally get that. Yeah, yeah. So Jane, what's one of yours? I think that um, my gender, I grew up a little bit more with Star Wars, yeah. but Star Trek. It's just something that is in everybody's Isn't it? cells. I yeah. mean, it's just, in you know, DNA, yeah. you just know it. Even mm -hmm. if you, even if the original series was a little bit before your time, you know Spock, you know, yeah. mm -hmm. you just know these characters. But I would say, in terms of growing up, I would have grown up with um, Star Wars or completely different, like the Narnia yeah. Uh, yeah. books, you know, yeah. like that, that would be the fantasy I would go nice. into. Yeah. Yeah. Very good. So there's a lot of Narnia love. Ken, what do you got for us? Yeah. In the, in the Star Trek realm, I, I grew up watching Next Generation yeah. and you know, later Deep Space Nine. I have a nine and I heart, definitely yeah. watched yeah, reruns yeah, yeah. of the original yeah. series. But, I mean, you're asking me what did I watch when I was a kid? I mean, yeah, just go I, all on, man. Dig I watched the uh, WWF. Yeah, um, I'm a wrestling into, mark, man. Let me, I, I can geek out we've had in a hard way. So, yeah, 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 yeah. I was into that as a kid. I was into like those, this, you know, the Thursday night comedies like Night Court yeah. and Cheers. I just loved oh my God, uh, yeah. those funny character -y type. So the, the, you, were, the, you were in for the comedy. Yeah. And yeah. The, the, the joy, right? And Absolutely. The, the, yeah, man. I, night Court was one of those shows. I'm that baby that, that uh, Nick and Knight, it was that era for me. I grew up watching, uh, it wasn't my generation, but you know, Dick Van Dyke, oh, uh, yes. Mary Tyler Moore, yeah. and things yeah, like that. They did the, all yeah. those repeats. All that, that. So yeah. for me, for me, yeah. it was yeah. Night Court. Yeah. Uh, it was my huge thing, and then also those classic mm -hmm. shows right there. Yeah. But for, for me, uh, Get Smart. So I don't know if yeah. you guys are Get yeah. Smart fans. Yeah, that yeah. Mel Brooks has completely shaped who yeah. I am oh, today. Yeah. yeah. So to so to hear yeah. that answer, man. Yeah. Wrestling <laughs> and yeah. we're gonna have conversations yeah. at yeah. some point, I hope, because there's there's a lot there. So. You also, that, that is reminding me of also the, the 70s British comedies. Oh, yeah, Are You Being that, Served oh, like, yeah, and things like that. Oh, oh. Yeah, Monty yeah. Python, but Are yeah. You Being Served, Faulty Towers. Faulty Towers. Yeah. Faulty Towers. Faulty Towers. Yeah. Yeah. Like, oh, Faulty my God. Faulty Towers. That's just classic. Yeah. And the crazy yeah. thing, that was only 10 episodes yeah. or something. Yeah. 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 The British, they, they did yeah. short yeah. runs yeah. for everything. Yeah. 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 So, uh, Except for Black Adder. Black Adder changed constantly as they went. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was just thinking about, like, the reruns and stuff. There was always on Sunday nights on PBS. Yeah, PBS. One after oh, the other, man. yeah. I, I miss television like that. I'm not saying it's out there, but I think as a whole, as a culture, we're just yeah. not seeking it out as much. It's we're here for the spectacle. We're here for the yeah. escapism. The age yeah. of comedy within TV, I don't know, seems so rare. 
Well, so. we're, we're, it's a laugh riot there over it is. on Kronos, let me tell you. <laughs> 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 yeah. I look forward to your stand-up special. Yeah. 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 So, I will say yeah. some of my... We're hoping that I, there's outtakes yeah. on the DVD that gets yeah. released at the end of the year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Would you like to have DVDs? Well, yes, I was our Blu-ray comes are. out oh, on yeah, November yeah. 13th. That's, that's not that far away, guys. That's it pretty has, awesome. It so. has outtakes. It does yeah. have, it has right? a, and wait, wait, I can't, can't see DVD? Is that well, not just, a... I don't know anymore, because everyone's doing like, obviously this was a streaming show. I right. think and they're then, like, released like, on VHS? Yeah. We're going, just go to beta. Let's just keep going back. <laughs> that would be appropriate. Oh my God. Beta Max or Beta yeah, Zoids. Yeah, it's yeah. totally fine. Be all good. Uh, so before you guys get going though, we're going to wrap things up with Randall's random question. I'm going to have Mary dig a question out for me. I'm going to ask you whatever question this is. Let it I be don't a good know why one. I'm closing my eyes. You can't see the question. <laughs> well, it's a blind draw. If you Fully blind. If you Definitely. Let me read that out oh, for yeah, you. you so, my handwriting's terrible. This is weird. Thank you, fans. What terrible fashion trend from any point in your life do you secretly or not so secretly love? Terrible fashion trends. Just throw it out there. Bell bottoms. Bell bottoms? Yeah. Do you, I do, loved do bell you still lo- do you do you still rock the oh, bell bottoms? Well, yeah, all of you, all of you, all of you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dig it through. Yeah, yeah. Well, I, no, I mean, I, I mean, I, 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 I love bell bottoms, and now it's just like so, like slender so and tight, yeah. and and which I Give which I rock too. There. But yeah. I, I mean, they're gonna come back again and just yeah. I bought it's circular like palazzo pants jeans the other day, the other day, and I was like, I love these big white ones. Nice. All right, so we got bell bottoms. What do what do y'all got? What's your favorite terrible fashion trend? Well, I don't, I personally, well, I guess this is perfect for the question. Yeah. I don't think it's bad, but I had, <laughs> I had this debate with my friend E who keeps coming up, uh-huh. but uh, I like wearing like cool tights under like uh, cut off shorts. Yeah, 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 yes. the, 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 yeah. The, the, the legging and the yeah, pants. Yeah, 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 like, yeah totally but, but get that. Not, like, but, uh, like uh, recently I did a kind of punky thing where I have these gray demonia boots right. and I wore like these like sparkly tights and then like these you know, yeah, cut off, the cut off shorts raggy or whatever. Thing. Yeah, yeah. And I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then she was like, tights and shorts, never. She's like, wear a skirt. Wear a skirt or it's, and I was like, oh, it was, yeah. it was just, I was, she felt very strongly about it. So she, I don't know. You do you. That's think, awesome. Yeah. I'm with you on that yeah. one. So what do you got then? This is it. Well, Nothing. You can't, you can't piggyback the bell bottom. <laughs> well, bell okay, bottoms and tights. Bell bottoms. I'll say palazzo pant because when I bought these wow. I bought these jeans the other day and they were like high waisted and really wide but yeah. warm with heels and I was like these look cool yeah. but some people might be like oh, all of a sudden a you're wide. starting you're starting to make sense to me now <laughs> <laughs> we've got to paint this picture for you I'm now yeah, yeah. Some underwear on there. They are Tell the us lines. about what's going They're on. Like, you have a kilt here. So the, the, the kilt is kind of the unofficial Dragon Con uniform. Right. I've been doing this yeah. convention, like I said, for a long time. Yeah. Right. And the, uh, uh, there was a company called Utila Kilt that brought kilts here. And I was one of the first people. As, as that sound, like, hey, I went in on that. And it's just been, it's everywhere. And you're going to walk around. I love it. You're going to see kilts. Because we're a comfortable place, right? Yeah. And we just we just enjoy ourselves. And yeah. John Behrman apparently really enjoys them too. That's <laughs> that's kind of our, our phrase with that. So, I love it. Yeah. So we're gonna see you in one of these later, right? I, I have my father is Scottish. I got yeah. I gotta get one. Yeah. That's fantastic. Yeah, yeah. It's in my blood. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, Be, being a Celt kid myself, I'm like, oh, that's why I don't do the tartan. But whatever, just have a good time with yeah. it. So, enough about me. <laughs> Sorry, I'll turn it back on me there. I, I want to thank you guys so much for taking. Thank I know you've you. got a very busy schedule, yeah. uh, panels and things like that all weekend. Um, come check them out watch the show it's fantastic and it's your first dragon have yeah, fun thank go you. out and party if you can yeah. and uh just just rock on for all of us guys thank so you. thank you so much thank you and thank you dragon con yeah thank, thank you, you. Thank you dragon con.